there are certain things that I did not know. My cause is not defined. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Oaiyuse, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you, Dolly, for coming back again. Today, I'm quite serious. I'm quite um. I'm, I'm, I just want to be in a chilled mood. I don't want to go over and about the house. I just want to chill. I just want to talk to you. Today, really, I just want to sit down with you guys and tell you um, five things that I wish I knew before I started my YouTube channel. I started my YouTube channel around quarantine time, like the first, first, first quarantine. And when I started it, I was I was I was super excited. I was like, Ooh, "Where's my phone? Let me let me show you guys how I did." I was super excited. I was like, "Ooh, I'm joining!" Like, join a YouTube. Like, it's been a minute. It's been I've always been wanting to do this. I've been seeing people doing this, and today is my day, honey. I was super excited. Hey, I wanted to. See myself get in, get inside, get in, and now, and then ever get in, and I'm kill. And there are certain things that I did not know. The first thing was copyrighted music. For those who don't know, let's say to what is copyright music, meaning of copyrighted music. So, a copyright provides the owner with exclusive rights to a particular work for a limited duration of time. This means an artist cannot copyright their brand. What is this one talking about? Okay, to my knowledge, I know that copyright music or copyright stuff or whatever that is copyrighted, uh, the right to... Um, that song or property or whatever belongs to them and if you are going to take um, an, a popular music and use it in your um, video the rights or the payment or the check that is is to be paid for your video is going to go straight to the person who owns the music that you used in your channel so yeah that, that's like what copyright means according to me so if if let's take for example you're going to use beyonce's song this happens most of the time in music of people who are popular in popular songs and all that so if you're going to take beyonce's song as it is and then use it in your in your video they are got, <clears throat> when when you when you get monetized and you and it's time for you to get paid for your video you're not going to get paid for your video instead Beyonce is the one who is going to get paid for your video because you used her song and what I did myself is that I didn't not know I didn't know and I felt that it was cute using popular songs in your in your in your videos and i did it myself i used the songs and before i knew it i got a message saying copyright lane <laughs> hey that's when i realized that copyright is no child's game and most of the songs that are not copyrighted or music that is not copyrighted is mostly provided in editing uh, apps so you could use that and then there are music uh, in youtube that are not copyrighted you just have to search uh, non-copyrighted music in youtube and then you just download them and use in your songs and for me i've recently started using uh, covers i usually take covers and use them in my video and most of the time they are not copyrighted and then the other trick that i use to see if the song that i'm using is not copyrighted uh when i'm not sure if the song that i'm using 
I was using and my video is no copyrighted is that I upload my video privately and then like spend uh, maybe 30 minutes and then check if it's copyrighted if it's copyrighted I, I check which part of my so of my video is copyrighted and then maybe remove the video and then correct the whole thing if it's not copyrighted then I make it public for you guys to see so like that's that's how I solved that problem and I hope you guys are going to like learn something. The other thing that I wish I knew about um, YouTube is that being different is key. Being yourself is key. Being confident is key. You can just uh, come to <clears throat> come to the camera and just be shy like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, a winky. Who is going to watch that? Like, who is going to watch that? Be yourself or don't imitate. I know, I know, I know. And every time uh, I thought of doing a YouTube channel, I was like, okay, all right, all right. I'm f hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Like, I tried to imitate what they were doing other than like having to find what i can say or what i feel like saying when i get in front of the camera but for me i realized that i am mostly comfortable with saying hey guys welcome back to my channel okay as much as we're saying the same thing like we're saying it in different tones we're saying it in different body expression so be yourself if you don't be yourself then you're going to suffer a lot because you're gonna have to like go into somebody else's video and try to imitate what they did in their video and then coming back to 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 film so that's not good. the third thing that i wish i knew when i started i was so excited like, i gotta told you guys that i was so excited and uh, the only thing i did was create a a channel i created a channel and on what ground first of all i did not have any idea what my channel is going to be about and the one thing that i wish i knew was that i should have had like a niche so like having ideas on what to do on your channel and having a niche a niche is like it's like for example when you say okay i'm opening a youtube channel and i just want to talk about hair products or my hair journey or i'm opening a youtube channel and i want to talk about my relationship with my girlfriend or with my boyfriend or things like that it's like having an, a straight niche of exactly what you are doing and that helps a lot when you have it helps youtube to direct uh, the right people to your channel so not having a niche has really like um affected me a lot because i touched everywhere i did this i did that i did this i did those i did what i did a lot of things and it just becomes so confusing for youtube to just place me in a certain direction uh, when you get started you do not have the luxury of making videos about making vlogs about a day in my life or making a day with me or fun 10 fun facts about me you don't have the luxury to do that the first thing that you have to do like the first videos that you have to do as a youtuber have to attract people to you if your niche is it's for it's makeup related make sure that you do maybe five videos about makeup that people will get attracted because they'll be they're interested in makeup and then after they get interested in your makeup um videos then then you can start doing get to know me or spend a day with me start by a video that is relevant that will make people ad get attracted to your channel that's like the fourth step. the other thing that i wish i knew what was it um i i wish i knew that it is not that easy to get to 1k subscribers or me 4000 
watch hours it is not easy on the other hand it's easy to get 1k followers and 4000 to watch hours in a certain amount or in a certain point of time so what i'm trying to say exactly is that you are going to get to 1k you might have started with certain people in uh the same month or the same year in youtube and now they have reached their goal of 1k or maybe 500 subscribers or maybe um 700 or 10,000 subscribers and when not you are still at 100 subscribers and you'll be asking yourself why like how how did this happen that is life it's not a race it's not a sprint it's a marathon and it's normal for you it's it is very normal for that to happen and know that one one day you'll get there and those videos are going to get monetized your channel is going to get monetized and one day all those videos that you feel like people are not viewing they are going to view them more and more and don't get uh, jealous of other people's success they're going to gain uh, more followers than you or you don't get stress or skates and stress or whatever about other people's achievement because you are going to get there yourself i really like the journey that i'm having in youtube uh the fact that i got to learn by myself or from myself and now that i'm sharing with you guys exactly what i have learned and what okay i thought it <laughs> i thought my video stopped recording i was gonna die <laughs> oh my god all right yeah that's exactly that and i i know that right now in this video i wasn't expanding more and there are even more things that i wish i had learned before i started youtube and if you want me to continue talking about that and giving you guys ideas on what to do then hit me up okay hit the girl up hit the girl up comment down below tell me uh, if I could continue doing this kind of session for you guys okay so I'm gonna give you a bonus a bonus 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 I know I said five uh, reasons but this one is a bonus and there is a reason why it's a bonus because um, a lot of us have um, people that we look up to in but there are some channels that will that can really help us um, to grow our youtube channels and we're not watching them because we feel like um they are boring or something nick nini audio production branding these are the channels that you should watch as a, a small youtuber that could help you grow in youtube just link the channel on the description box below so that you can click on them to learn more about how to grow in youtube and how to start right in youtube and then there's a friend of mine called Nezuko. yes i will also link her channel so that you can go onto her channel and learn more about uh, the things that you should know before you start your youtube channel okay period 